this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my skin, beginning to thaw from within. Today and not tomorrow. What a place to wake up. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome along to the channel if you're new here. Um, my name's Ads, and this is my camper van. It's a self-built transit van, extra long wheelbase. If you want to know more about how I did it, uh, I'll put a playlist up of how the van was built. It's basically a, if I could do it, you could do it kind of scenario. So go back and check those out if you want to know how this all came about. But this video was intended to have been shot up in the middle of nowhere, out in the sticks, I was gonna test the crap out of the batteries and just charge stuff like the drone and just use some equipment, some new equipment that I've got. Well, I'll show you that in a second. Um, and just to see how much I can push the batteries and just to see what sort of capabilities they've got during, just with the, just with the solar and stuff like that. But unfortunately, the weather was not on my side last night and I wasn't very far away from a friend's house. Now, the shepherd's hut that you could see in that drone footage just a minute ago, that is Margate Farm Hideaway. That's my friend's um, self-built Airbnb shepherd's hut. I'll put a link to it. I'm going to do a whole video about it at some point, but um, it's absolutely stunning. If you don't believe me, if you want to have a quick look now, go and have a look at their Airbnb listing. It's phenomenal. I'll put the link in the description. But he very kindly uh, knew that I wasn't too far away and said, why don't you come and park up <laughs> in a more sheltered area? And you know what? I just thought, yeah, why not? I can, so I will. So I drove down, I parked up here late last night, and I actually set my alarm this morning to get up before sunrise, but like an absolute mug, I set it for weekdays. So I actually had a really nice lie-in. And do you know what? I'm not even bothered. I'm not even sorry. I actually came to this farm yesterday to try out my new air rifle, and I managed to get myself a pigeon, which I wanted to cook in the van. Obviously, most people don't want to see me shooting pigeons, but I managed to get myself a fat little pigeon, and I wanted to cook it today in the van, but I wanted to kick the ass out of the battery. So what I've done is I've got a new piece of kit. Ugh. I've got a little tiny slow cooker. Now I haven't even opened it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just chill here for a minute. I'm gonna have a little bit more of my coffee. And then I'm gonna get myself set up in here, get the chopping board out and everything. And then I'm gonna look at making myself a Pigeon and beef curry. Nick actually gave me some of his beef when I got here yesterday. Can't wait to cook that. So let's have a look at this, shall we? Nice. Right. Let's have a look. It's tiny. I'm gonna give it that. It's not very big. <laughs> it's a good job I only got one pigeon. So it's not very big. Let's go get the pigeon, I'll show you. So here's my little pigeon. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna give it a wash off because I've left it, left it outside last night. Wrapped up obviously, but. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll fit in the crock pot. It's not a very big pot. There we go, got some veg. Now we always, you always gotta have some green stuff in there as well. So for the green stuff, controversial, sprouts. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a couple of Brussels at the bottom, just for it to sit on. I think they call that a trivet in the business. As you can see, I'm not washing anything. 
because I'm going full, full gangster, full ghetto on it. Just chop some bits up, drop some in. Now, anybody who's not too keen on the idea of people shooting stuff, I do get it. I get where you're coming from, but I do eat meat. And to be honest, I've gone off the idea of eating um, meat that I'm not aware of or where it's come from or anything like that at the moment. I'd rather know exactly what's going on with it, where it's come from. I'm not even going to wash me potato, look. Savage, and I? So, you know, I do respect people's opinions. I don't have the same ones. I don't agree with most of them, but I do respect them. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit any of the beef that Nick gave me in there. That won't go to waste. I will definitely get that cooked up today in some way. So now what I've got to do is chuck in some wet. Just enough. I'll do. And then I think we're good to go. The reason I got this smaller crock pot was because it's supposed to be quite low powered. So I'm trying to find now in the this thing here, whether or not it tells me how to use your slow cooker, cleaning, fitting a plug. Oh, it tells you how to fit a plug. Nobody knows how to fit a plug anymore. That's not telling me anything. So Right, let's have a look here. While that's loading, my inverter is capable of up to 3000 watts. It peaks at 3000, I think you're allowed, it's it's okay at 2000, can go to three from what I can gather. Right, can go to 3000. Keep it at about 2000, that's why I got that one. And I mean, I should have got a pure sign one, but I got a modified sign one. And this as a modified sign will work. It says energy efficient. I don't know if you can see that at all. I don't know if you see that. Probably not there. So it says, uh, so it's one of two people, energy efficient. That's probably purely all I went off. Wattage, 100 watts. 100 watts? I mean, that doesn't sound like anything, does it? Sort of second guessing myself now. So <clears throat> if anybody likes a YouTube video with a little bit of mild peril, there's a very good chance that I'm going to be giving myself massive amounts of food poisoning with a pigeon that I shot on a farm yesterday but so if you want to see that stick around i haven't used my toilet yet so it might be a perfect opportunity i nearly did that and i missed I, uh, uh, so i'm not even going to bother i'm just going to press stop because it's such a low amount of wattage i can't see that that's going to be an issue you shouldn't really leave it all coiled up as far as i'm aware i might come back to a smoldering burning van i'm hoping not but this is supposed to be such low wattage i can't see much draw through the cable if that makes any sense plus i've got fuses absolutely everywhere so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch this on to high and that is 0.4 amps i've got a drone battery on charge here at the minute i've just switched this bad boy on that's not telling me that it's killed itself there's probably people who've got a little bit more knowledge about these things going of course it's going to work ads what are you being so weird about it for of course it's going to work it's 2,000 watts. That's supposed to be, what, 100 watts? Of course it's going to work. Because I built this van with absolutely no knowledge. I put in all the bits and pieces that I thought were going to be necessary. But I never had the courage or the strength of character to try them. <laughs> right, so with that said, I'm going to leave that for a few hours. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning. So by about four o'clock, I think, it should be ready to turn on to cool. I don't know, let's see. Let's just see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So with the slow cooker going, six hours to kill and a slight break in the weather, I thought, why not get geared up, try a little bit of metal detecting. You know what they say though, best laid plans and all that. <laughs> That's official, isn't it? That's metal detecting 101. Right. Let's have a little go at this. Oh, look at the state of this weather. And then typically, just like that.
there'll be a load of hardcore metal detectorists going just go out in rain i don't know why they're all northern no i'll tell you why they're northern the wonderful digger dawn if you haven't seen digger dawn's channel you gotta see it. it's brilliant she's absolutely fantastic even if you're not into metal detecting go and watch her she's infectious she'd be out in the rain but i am not digger dawn I'm Kerno Mads, and I'm a fair weather metal detector ist. Detectorist. I'll give it five minutes, see what happens. Oh, update on the battery. So, batteries are at 12.4. I'm currently charging a, um, a drone battery from the inverter as well. The sun's gone, and it is going up to sort of 12.8. Whoa. It is going up to like 12.8 when the sun comes back out but i'm just happy to be able to use some juice out of the van and the the crock pot's hot something's happening in there smells nice leave that be for a minute i took advantage of the break in the weather got myself out of the van and went for a little hike around the countryside. It's an absolutely stunning piece of the country. Um, unfortunately, you won't get to see much of that because I had memory card issues. But what would a Kerno Mads video be if it didn't have memory card issues? But I was very lucky to be able to not get rained on, get out and have a look around. I'm not very good at metal detecting, but at least I got to meet some cows. What more do you want, really? Good, aren't they? So, I went metal detecting found well, i won't ruin the surprise because i know that everybody's gripped to the edges of their seat sinking i bet you found some really cool stuff yeah i found three items i don't know how metal detectors work i don't know which ones i'm supposed to dig up and which ones i ain't so i'm gonna have to get searching on the old youtube if perchance anybody such as Dig It On should see this video, drop me some hints or drop me a line. I'll gladly drive up to North into Van and you can show me what bings and bongs I'm supposed to dig up and what pings and tings I'm supposed to ignore. Because I've got to be honest, if you could see it from here, you'd know just how many things I tried to dig up. And then I couldn't even find anything in the hole. I was digging holes. Don't tell Nick. But Nick, if you do watch this, I filled them back in. So don't worry. But yeah, so that was a stark lesson. And also wear wellies. But at least it's not my van. We're back to the van to see if me, fed me, see if me pigeons cooked at all. If you could smell that, honestly, even if you think, oh, a pigeon, you'd still be thinking, oh, a pigeon. Hat switch. Was that seamless? Good. <laughs> Bear with. Okay, let's have a look here. Cleaned that off. Took spare batteries. And I believe that is a piece of barbed wire. I believe that that is a tiny nail but I believe that that is a massive nail huh huh what can I say it's been a successful day now this I don't know what this is this is nothing I think this is a bolt I'm gonna give that a wash just so I can have a look just for my own sanity but 
I'm pretty sure it's a bolt. Hmm. That was absolutely pointless. But yeah, I'll go ahead and say it's a bolt. But do you know what, right? I don't know how metal detectors work. I've got to figure it out. I do like a bit of that, trying to suss out how things go on. So um, I just have to get on YouTube and start watching some actual proper metal detectorists, trying to figure out which signals to pick and which one's not. Right, okay, this is the moment I have all been waiting for. It's been in for about six hours. Uh, let me just check. Went in at quarter past 10, it's half past four. So six hours and 15 minutes. I haven't tasted it, but I can smell it. And trust me, it smells pretty good. Um, let's get another camera on it, so I ain't got to keep moving this one. Oh. <laughs> Bit steamy in there. It smells really good. It smells proper good. So let's just, uh, I don't have any big bowls. I've only got these two little bowls. So I'm gonna have to put the pigeon in one and the rest in the other. And I'm just gonna pick up the pigeon in the one bowl and then eat the veg and the gravy and everything else in the other bowl. It smells amazing, can't wait, gonna get it out now. So. Honestly, man. I've got a thing here somewhere. This ladle thing, there we go. And there we go. All right, shame not to chuck that in there. Right. <laughs> right. The stew part, can't fault that at all. The vegetables are cooked. Everything's cooked great. The parsnip is amazing. The gravy's phenomenal. You can't really see, I can't tip it because it will fall out, but let's have a little look at this. Let's see how it's gone with the old pigeon. Okay. So the pigeon meat, very cut. That's a win. 100% a win. If you've never had pigeon, you're missing out. So I'm going to go probably open the door, sit down there and eat this now. But thanks very much for joining me in this one. I know it probably wasn't for everyone, but I'm going to be doing a little bit more of this. It's very sustainable in my eyes. If you're going to eat meat, you might as well know where it came from. Pigeon, if you haven't tried it, you've got to try it. It's absolutely delicious. The, uh, the slow cooker absolutely worked. My batteries are still... 12.3 um, and I've been charging stuff all day as well so that's a big big plus for me because I didn't have any faith in my system it's probably if I spent loads more money I could get it to do loads more stuff but at the moment it does exactly what I need it to do I can charge stuff all day I could put a slow cooker on all day long while I'm off doing other bits and pieces and come back to the van smelling like home cooking, which is a massive, massive, massive deal for me. I love it. So yeah, all in all, today's been a win. Thanks for joining me. Do the likes and subscribes if you want. Hit buttons, comment on things, and yeah, catch you with the next one. See you later on. Love you, bye.